Boy, now was this a wonderful morning. Morel mushrooms, beautiful Minnesota morning. And now I'm ready to go back to the kitchen and I want you guys to join me. The Great Taste from Chris's Kitchen, brought to you by The Great Taste of Johnsonville Sausage. Okay, I don't know about you, but I sure worked up an appetite after doing all that morel hunting. So I've got a few of them here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a wonderful steak sandwich with morels on the sides. I like to slice them in half and put them into an ice cold bath, that's a salt water bath. All right, now that I've got the morels all nice and clean, I'm gonna just take my pan and get it nice and hot. With a little bit of olive oil. Now I've got some venison steak that I thawed out and I sliced it very thin. And now I'm just gonna add some seasoning salt. You can add some garlic powder, some pepper, however you like to normally season your steak. And of course, I'm gonna add some fresh garlic as well. We're just gonna put that in. And now I'm gonna add my steak. And I'm gonna leave just a little space on the corner over here on the side. And that's where I'm gonna place my morels. And see with the morel, with a lot of the mushrooms, what it is, there's a lot of moisture in, inside the mushroom itself. And so you can see it inside your pan. I like to take my steak and just put it right in with all the juice because it's just like a wonderful, wonderful mushroom sauce and flavor that it gives the steak. Okay, that is done. Now I just like to layer a little bit of cheese so it gets nice and gooey all over the steak. Okay, I have to admit, it was a lot more fun hunting for the morels than actually cooking them, but let me tell you, it was a nice easy recipe, the venison steak and morel sandwiches. I hope you'll all enjoy. <laughs>